Well, as you can see, I've got a lot more to do, but I'll show you what fun I had yesterday. So first of all, I'll start with something that was maybe, I don't know, not quite as fun. It was just, it was fun. Yes, it was fun. So this grouping represents Back Bay. So the red brick townhousey business uh, depicted by members of the Bostonian urban sketchers. I combined uh, some of the South End with Back Bay, but uh, that's our little secret. Over here, I started with the Natural History Museum, which has a bunch of dead animals in it. And as I was assembling these, I looked at this one, Harvard Museum of Science rocks, says the Triceratops, and whatever that thing is, what is it called? Coelacanth. The coelacanth giggled, and so did the hippo, and the ape under the stairs is giggling. But I noticed that the Han Dynasty horse from the fog next door was chuckling as well. So I combined both of these venues into one. So thinking that, then I added the bat and its cognate, the angel and the boids um, together. Here we are, some of us anyway, at one of the fog things. And then down here, continuing with the fog, popular subject was to draw the courtyard with the visitors. Some of us never left the courtyard to look at the art. We just drew each other. And so that's how this one worked. The very first urban sketcher event I went to, I think, was at the Fog. And in a quiet time, I got up my iPad and I just drew on an image of a Gainsborough. So I, I made this a moving uh, movie. So first of all, she's blinking, as you can see, and then she lets down her mosquito netting, Venetian blind routine, and then the bird on top of her hat wakes up and has fun with her ribbons. So that's part of the joke thing. So the HMSC rocks, <laughs> etc. And then with this grand countess or whatever she is, doesn't want to blush in public or show her yellow teeth. So that's what she's doing there, hiding. So that was kind of a fun connection. And one of the things I like to do as a curator is to help people see details that they might not look at initially. So this one was kind of fun a vertical format of the Chinatown gate. And I started with David Mitchell's view of the gate from the side, which is not the one that you normally think of. And Felipe's beautiful watercolor and the watercolor that um, Howie did and the watercolor that Gustavo did, and the watercolor that Claire did, etc., and of the gate. And then here's a drawing I did of the gate. But what was fun here was that rather than trimming these off, I left them there because those little dots are like the little dots 
in the in the uh, structure and so that was kind of fun over here we have the old north church this will be up at the top one if by land two if by sea three if by uber there were, there's lots of tourists in the north end so there's paul revere running around um, here's paul revere's house Here's the Christopher Columbus Park, which um, is just adjacent to the Old North Church. And in the north end, you have still laundry being laundered in the open air. So this is fun. We've got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versions of the Customs Tower. This is going to go on the top. Another thing I've been doing here is the views that are high, if I look up, if I have to look up to see the top of the steeple or the top of the statue, I put it at the top of my conglomeration. And the things that are at eye level are sort of seen at eye level. It doesn't always work. I have to play around with it a little bit. And then looking down at the flowers and the plants, I have that angle at the bottom. I may include this drawing I did of the shadow of George, uh, maybe right there. Um, here I t entitled this piece, Two Assholes on a Horse. So there's one and there's the other. Am I calling George Washington the father of our country an asshole? Not necessarily, but a lot of them were those founding fathers. Slave owners and hypocrites and sexist people or whatever they were. This was interesting. This was at the Longfellow house. There's the owner who was depicted by Howie. Uh, I believe he's must be cast in stone or something because uh, he's certainly dead. And we've got the picture of the house. We have Andre drew the flowers in the garden. Claire drew the bunnies in the garden. I drew the dry rot and gutters on um, yellow. The house is very yellow. So I got all my yellow Benjamin Moore paint chips and I just drew on those, which I thought was fun. This is falling apart. My, uh, my glue and my little pins have come on pins. So I have to fix that. And there's a lot more I have to do. So, gotta run.